Okay, let me move this thing up just a little bit. Okay. All right, so. So practicing numbers, times, durations, pretty simple. What's nice is with times is you've got two pairs of numbers, right? Hours, the minutes. And that's how we normally present numbers anyways, is in pairs. Letters, when we fingerspell, tend to be groups, twos, threes, you know, uh, because there are common groups of letters, prefixes, suffixes, things like that. With numbers, there's, except for local area codes, there aren't that many short chunks of numbers that are repeated. So we tend to just do it in pairs. It's just the most clear way to go through the sections. Um, so here what I did was all the times, 11 a.m. to 12.15. And you could do afternoon, p.m., a.m., morning, noon, 12.30, about, around noon, right? And then afternoon, well, afternoon, evening, but we can also look at the duration of, like, January 17th to May 2nd. Right? So what I'm doing is I'm going from my left side to, so my passive side to my dominant side, sliding across. Um, I, lefties would do their own side because we can kind of process that. Um, but see what feels more comfortable. I, I'm not a left-hander, so I don't know how to exactly do it. Check to see. Ask your instructor what their what their experience has been, because um, doing those kind of time process signs uh, sometimes there are, uh, there are different preferences people have. So um, practice these kind of things. Pull up anything you want where it's time-wise. Practicing numbers, like with finger spelling, you got to get to the point where you are just comfortable with any numbers that come up. Um, I Phone numbers are um, a nice pattern because it's single, double, single, double, 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 right? So um, here, here we have area code 330. So 330, 330. And then 672. Six, seven, two. You wouldn't go thirty-three O. That would be that would be confusing. It's off-putting. Um, and generally speaking, we always plan for the last number. So we, we'll do pair, 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 pair. The odd number will come first, so that we can do pairs for the remainder. Um, social security number, three digits, three digits, two digits, four digits. Right. 
So if there's a pattern to the numbers, we tend to follow those and put the pairs within them. If it's um, talking about dollars, we will, um, or years, or something where we're going to include thousands, hundreds, tens, you know, we're going to use those words. One million, two hundred thousand, we would include million, thousand, hundred. Okay. Um, so practicing numbers, practicing years is a good one too, because you have pair, 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 pair. Right. Um, and as I say, 14.9 is really um, short. In class, we would just talk about things like, what time is your class? What time are your classes? What time do you work? What time do you, does your work, your shift end? How often do you have breaks? I also have, if you, hold on one second. If you have a local game store, if you are a D&D &D fan or something like that, they have dice where there are times on them. Um, and you can go and pick these up and then just do random, well, here, let me do random dice rolls. It's probably really annoying to hear. So, <laughs> turning it so you... Uh, yep, it, luckily it doesn't reverse them. Okay, so 735, right? So, this is handy. Or do it, hit the number. If there's something you can do with random number generation, by all means, do that. You need to get to the point where numbers and letters are just second nature. You don't have to think about them. Um, I recommend what, what I did in grad school to pick up my sign pace, because um, I started learning in college. So, during grad school, I spent every commute doing one of a few things. If I felt like fingerspelling was something I needed to work on today, I would do fingerspelling drills. Oftentimes, I would do like A, 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 B, A, C, A, D, A, E, etc. Then B, B, A, B, 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 C, B, D. Good way of figuring out what letter combinations are difficult to do and then repeating them slowly and then gradually faster and faster until I worked out those kinks. Um, you can also go backwards, Z A, Z Y, or <laughs> Z A, Z B, Z C. Um, it, it, they're random combinations. They don't. They aren't based on any frequency. So uh, that can be a good way of of challenging fingerspell license plates as you see them go by. Uh, fingerspell and number combinations, right? Uh, Anytime you see a phone number go by, speed limit, any kind of number, address, do that. Same thing with signs as you pass by, speed limit, 55, right? Just get in the habit of, especially when you're driving, you can't focus on them, right? You, you're, you're not going to look and follow the sign. You've got to stay focused on the person. So you want speed limit, 55, 35, 20, school zone, 20, right? Those little things will really help you get used to it. Because if you find yourself driving with S P E E E O, oh, I got to work on my finger spelling. Right. So they're little bite-sized chunks. Um, numbers, same way. Uh, numbers and letters, as you see them, do that. If you're listening to the news, if you're a talk radio person, as someone introduces a new name, finger spell it. Introduce the name of movie, finger spell it. If they talk about dollar amounts, sign those. Any way you can practice these skills while doing other things will be a real help because you've got to get to the point where it's just second nature. And really, that is all she wrote for this. Li it's, it's literally, um, I don't know if I can even show you in here. Um, in the teacher book, numbers. <laughs> That's it. Um, just a chance to practice, a, little, a way for a teacher to check in with the class and see how everybody's doing with numbers. So that's 14.09.